You're right, guys. It's Capcom Tom, and we're back for another episode of Road to Recovery. And the first thing we're going to do, as always, is go and check our trade pile to see what we've sold. Now we've sold five of our, I think, ten items, so we're doing pretty well. And um, you can see we've actually got 54,000 coins, uh, which is pretty beast. And as you all know, it's the new episode. It's the new team. So uh, basically, the old silver team is just going into the into the archives, and we're going to start building a new one. So the way I did it was I literally went gold, found um, a player for each position, and then bought the first one for under 400 coins. And uh, you can see a couple of examples of me doing that there. Like here's me getting the centre attack in mids, and uh, you know I didn't spend more than 400 coins on each player so there's the uh, final team uh, looks pretty dire doesn't it um, like uh, we've got Hadji now we also got Fox at left back which is pretty funny um, and we also got some dodgy centre back as well which uh, which isn't too bad we're going to improve it over the game so uh, as you know the rule is to buy two players at maximum per episode so um, obviously we're going to go and play our first game with the team now um, we come up against this Brazilian 4-3-3 a bit Dodgy, I'd say no one particularly stands out in that team uh, to me. So, um, yeah, uh, first goal went to us. Alagui, our striker, getting his first goal for the club. Um, and uh, he actually is quite good. I'm, not, I'm quite surprised. Uh, he, I didn't end up changing him during the episode. I was planning to change the striker first because it's always a good position to change. Um, but, you know, um, after he scored a hat-trick, as you see here going through in the 30th minute, um, I didn't think there was any need to actually buy any more um, strikers. I thought I could live with him for a while. So, um, you know, um, this guy actually ends up rage quitting a couple of minutes after I scored the third goal, which was unfortunate. You know, we could have used getting the full coin bonus. He wasn't very, very good. Um, but it does mean that our DNF and everything is going to go up. But um, we're obviously still struggling after uh, that after we got disconnected from that game a little while ago. Um, so hopefully um, our DNF will be up to full within about five games. I think it goes up by 0.02 each game. Anyway, we go off and make our first signing. Uh, for the team, we had to replace one of our centre-backs because he had like 53 pace or something stupid like that. So we replaced it with Naldo, who's very tall, very fast, good heading, good defending. So a very good centre-back all round. And we go off and play our next game, and we're going up against this, um, like a, it's like a mix of gold and silvers, um, Brazilians at the back, which uh, hybridises well with Rubinho playing the centre forward role, and that means he can get El Shar and El Kabir uh, up front. Very, very strange team to be honest, and uh, he wasn't actually all that good. I was expecting with uh, such an expensive team. I mean, that's like well over, like. 200,000 coins uh, that team that he would be a lot better than he was but he actually turned out to be kind of a poo poo so um, we didn't break him down very well but we did end up winning 1-0 um, thanks to Alagui getting another goal and uh, because he's fresh we're actually, I'm actually checking uh, his stats each game and at this point he's had a strike rate of 2 because he's scored 4 in four and two, two games so that's pretty beast anyway we go off and make our next signing for the episode and that is Kagawa um, at the centre attacking mid position and uh, we're going to go quickly put him into our team I didn't mention that um, we are actually, we've are we actually changed our badges and kits we've got the Bayern Munich badge, the Bayern Munich kit and I think it's the is it the Word of Bremen away kit the uh, orange and greeny striped one so uh, you can see me there putting Kagawa into the team and uh, we come up against our next opponent uh, last game of the episode a guy who's got an under 21's England team uh, called Penguins <laughs> which is quite quite an interesting idea to have an under-21s team. Uh, you don't see very many people building them by age or anything like that. So um, he has informed Lambert, uh, Sturridge, you know, some dangerous players on his team. Um, but uh, we do get uh, the opening goal here through Naldo. Um, as I said, his heading stats are very good. And you can see him there from the corner getting... Uh, nod in and I can, I'm pretty sure that he's going to be the new donk for our team and he's going to be getting a donk on it quite often and uh, scoring quite a few goals from the corners so uh, hopefully that will continue for him anyway um, next uh, goal goes to him uh, we held him out until the 52nd minute and a bit of poor defending by me um, and a bit of luck by him goalkeeper palming it straight back out into his player and his player finishes well although I thought my centre back would actually uh, block that one but, um, you know, we came straight back at him a couple of seconds later 
from the kickoff, getting a nice headed goal here uh, from the uh, cross, and Alagui getting another goal, so that's five in three games, which isn't too bad for a striker at all. Um, I'd be quite happy if my striker was always scoring that sort of amount. Um, but he sort of worked out how to beat me, and that was through the fact that I have slow defenders, and he uh, pace rate me with Sturridge there, which was fair to play to him. He did work it out, and to be honest, he uh, exploited me again um, just before the end of uh, half time. Again, Sturridge pace raping my team and going through, and actually quite a nice goal by him. I mean, that's a very, very um, powerful shot that went in. So we did actually lose that game. So for this team, we're actually on a record of two. Um, two wins and one loss which uh, if you compare it to the Pro League team when we started that um, I think we were about the same so you never know we'll, we will definitely pick up I mean it, by the stats it looks like I should have won um, but obviously uh, you can't win them all and uh, FIFA just goes that way so um, guys I'm going to leave it there I hope you've enjoyed this episode um, I should be well yeah I'm going to just leave it there um, please leave a like if you've enjoyed the video and uh, subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you all next time